Welcome to Project 308. My name is Lou Trache, and this is my 1978 Ferrari 308 GS GTS. And every time I go to shoot this video, either somebody walks in the front door or this phone rings. I'm gonna be back in one second. All right, I'm back, and it has been absolutely crazy here for the last six to eight weeks. Uh, spring tire changeover is occurring, and my amount of time that I've actually had to work on the Ferrari has been like very, very little. And it's simply because I'm actually out in the shop fixing cars because we're short-handed as we uh, have been for a while. You know, it's, people don't want to work anymore. Huh. Anyways, let's get into the car. This is the carpet for the Ferrari. It seems impossible that the whole carpet is in this one box. My original plan was to take the dash, which is right there, and attach the meter hood, the, the hood over the gauges, get that all back into the car while I waited for the carpet. But I feel like right there, that's the carpet. The carpet came in, it came in real quick, and that dash has just been a freaking bitch. Welcome to episode 14. For those of you who didn't catch the name on the box, I bought this carpet from Lakewell Classic Car Interiors. I will post a link to their website down below. The interior carpet comes with instructions which I have attached. Huh. Attached. Attached where? Attached where would be an email attachment, you dum dum. In this box is the complete interior carpet, the rear carpet in the trunk area, and that cargo area cover. If I had to guess, I would say that's the trunk carpet because of that piece right there. Lots of bits and pieces everywhere, but here is the interior carpet laid out. I've got lots of interior cleanup to do before I start putting the carpet in, so I'm going to play with the dash for a bit. It's a mess as well. I did some research a while ago about the best cement for vinyl. This is what I came up with. Before I put the dash back into the car, I actually need to fix it because the vinyl has just come unglued from the fiberglass mold. I really can't put it back in like this, so I've got to go through the motions and clean this all up and re-glue it all back together. It was very tedious because I could only do a little bit at a time. And you can see sort of what I'm dealing with here, because that doesn't look very uh, good. Uh, underneath there was some sponge, and the sponge disintegrated. I uh, tried gluing the panel here. Uh, didn't realize at the time how bad that looked. So now I'm going to have to backtrack a bit and see if I can't uh, make that a little purdier. So the goal is to pull this as tight as possible, but you can see even pulling it tight, it just doesn't quite feel right. And I've just been brainstorming and I think I'm going to try and slide this in behind um, in there to see if that just kind of pulls it out a bit.
All right, so not perfect, but better. I mean, I've got a little spot right there I'm working on, but overall, much better. Testing one, two, three from Terry, but technically step number one is for me to remove the old carpet. Wasn't even tight. Oh. Well, at least this one's tight. Yeah, it's a whole lamp. Yeah, should somewhere it's somewhere inside the car. Yeah. Not too much exciting happening right now, so there's nothing really to narrate. Plus, I'm kind of watching the Leafs game while I'm working on the video, so less talk tonight because I'm distracted. This vent is missing one of the little fins. You know what? I think I might 3D print something and give that a try. Hmm, maybe I can repair this later on. One thing is for sure, I'll be happy when I'm done with all the dirt. I'm constantly filthy when I'm working on this car.
So the vac factory glue job actually was really strong. The carpet separated. I thought I was getting all the carpet, but there's still a thin layer of the carpet still there. Now I'm at the glue. You can see the difference between the two. Definitely hours and hours of cleaning and just tedious, tedious work that you don't even see that I just don't even bother putting in anymore. It's just a pain. But hey, that's turning out pretty good right there. Take a look. One side is relatively, you know, close, not quite. And then we have that side, which I still have to work away at. I haven't even started that side yet. So what we're looking at right here is the wiring that goes to the exhaust manifolds at the back for the cylinder um, slow down lights, you know, on each side of the steering wheel. Temperature sensor in the exhaust manifold comes over to here to this little resistor and then into the control module, which is this right here. The, um, it's not really a control module, it's just like a little control unit. Um, the manifolds are all welded up. There's no sensors that are working. They're all just kind of tied there. So I'm not going to be getting them working again right now because I don't have catalytic converters in the car. The car came without catalytic converters. Yeah, so we're just going to sort of leave it there. But in case I ever want to make it work again, but right now, no. This wire was running to the... Uh, the aftermarket ignition system that was in there. We are not going to be using it anymore, so we can just get it out. So the passenger side of the car was definitely a lot rougher than the driver's side. I spent most of my time on this side, and I was throwing everything at it, trying to break everything free and have no loose pieces anywhere. Where are you going? I need you here. You don't have to. He's not allowed to use the bathroom. Do not go in there. Woo! Come here. I almost fall down there. You almost fell down? Yeah. Or you almost fall down? I almost fall down, he said. I almost fall down. And you cut your finger, you got a bobo on your finger. <laughs> Head gasket. Head casket on an Audi S4 that did that to him, right there. Anyways, do you think, my floor is fiberglass, do you think I should paint it or? I've been scraping away at it trying to uh, get any kind of flaky sort of stuff here. I haven't done that side yet, I'm just working on this side. Oh. Yeah, you gotta roughen that up. Nothing gonna stick to that. Yeah, but how am I gonna roughen it up? Something real coarse. Would you have this coarse enough to do it? Well, I got coarse sandpaper, but... I don't know how glue's gonna take to that. Well, it was glued before. This was all glued down before. No, I mean, yes, but I mean, the glue is gonna be taken to the... Well, likely it had a gel coat on top of it before, so that's what the glue was attached to. You know? So you're going to have to put back on something on there that's going to, the glue will attach to easily. So my thinking is, yes, you're going to have to paint it back. Paint it with what though? Something that dries fast and hard. You got an epoxy kind of paint? Fast and hard. Hmm. Epoxy paint. 
epoxy paint. Okay, let me go see what I can find. Hmm, seems like I've had this shifter out before. Oh, yes. So I put two coats of epoxy paint on here to really even it out and give the carpet glue something really good and strong to hold to, to grab onto. Uh, I'm going to let this dry for a couple days and then I'm going to give it a good scuff, just kind of rough it up a bit. Uh, it doesn't need to be pretty, it just needs to serve a purpose. It's going to be covered anyways, but it looks pretty good. Right now I'm going to move on to the dash. I have to drop the steering column down uh, again to uh, be able to slide the dash in like this because trying to put it in like this just not working. Let's move over here. That goes in a lot easier without the steering column. All right, so it's in and it looks good, but I'm not quite ready to bolt it in yet. I want to fuss with it a bit and make it sit perfectly before I uh, make it permanent. Um, but I figured that is as much as I'm going to get on this video and I need to get this video out because it's been like forever since my last video. But I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who watches and supports the channel and comments. And uh, I last video I asked for some help on some bulbs uh, for the uh, gauge cluster there. And a whole bunch of you uh, offered uh, assistance and I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, you guys are freaking awesome. Anyways, thanks for liking, subscribing, and uh, everything that goes along with that. I appreciate it. I'll try and get the video, uh, the next video, out a little bit faster. And uh, Terry's right there, and so say bye, Terry. Bye, Terry! All right. <laughs> See you next video.